In this video, I'm gonna share my screen with you right here. I'm gonna walk you through six Shopify SEO issues that you can fix within just six minutes to quickly get more traffic to your store. Now, starting off, very simple. Number one, I mentioned this in a previous video. If you have a look at this website here, Vinyl Impression, and we look at the product links on a collections page, you'll notice the links, the URL of the page is slash collections, slash office, slash products, slash the name of that product. However, that isn't the correct URL. The correct URL is simply slash products, slash the name of the product. And if we access that, then that would also work perfectly. And what happens is Shopify by default, when you access a product via a collection, they add the collection, they add slash collection, slash the name of that collection. And then they add a canonical tag, which tells them, hey, the original version of this page is over here at slash products, slash product name. The problem with this is that it still doesn't really do anything for crawl budget and they still have to access the same product two times, three times, four times, depending on how many collections this product's in. And it still doesn't really always work. In fact, we look at this store specifically, we can Google search here, you can see there's just four results, it's not that bad, but they are indexing, uh, this one here for example, together we are better, they are indexing this under the wrong URL. They're indexing under slash collections, slash words, slash products, slash together we are better wall sticker, whereas actually the correct URL is just slash products, slash the product name. So it's just a very quick, simple fix that's gonna save crawl budget when you have a big site of over a thousand pages. It gets a little bit more important there. And it also just makes sure that the products are indexed under the correct URL. And index, if you don't know, means added to the search. And again, as we looked at the previous example, this one is indexed under the wrong URL. Another example here and another example here. Very, very quick, simple fix. All you wanna do is modify your theme files and you basically just remove this little bit of code that says within collection. It takes a couple minutes and then it is done and every one of your links will be updated from the collections pages and this will overall improve, the, again, crawl budget and double check in that the correct product URLs are indexed. Moving on to fix number two. If you have a look at this website right here, B Equipment, it looks pretty good, right? And a niche is interesting, but here is the problem. Go into Google search and search for this. Site beequipment.co.uk, in title, tagged, in URL collections, check out this, about 940 five results. Now what this is, is product tags. When you create products, you can assign tags to those products. And you can see here, they have tags for grease. They have tags for accessories, tools, top feeder, animals and plants, and so on. If you can open these up, it's, set, it's essentially a way of filtering the products. You see here, this is a tag and it's tagged grease. And you can see different ones down the side here. These are all different tags. Now, as you can imagine, there's a lot here. And as you can see, that reflects here with 945 results. Now, in almost all cases, you have no intention of ranking for those tags. You have no intention of ranking for the word grease, or if you look at the title tag of the page, products tagged grease, or best selling products tagged accessories. Now, the problem with this is, if you have 50, 100 tags, this is added to every single collection where you have products that fit within that tag, which is why there's 945 results here. And again, you don't intend on ranking these. They're not optimized to rank for anything. It's pretty much duplicate content besides the title tag, which just says tagged accessories, tagged tools, and so on. So it's just thin, low quality content. And in this case, it's 945 pages, which is absolutely massive and a massive waste of crawl budget. So what do you do? Well, unfortunately, we can't block these at robots.txt, but what we can do is just no index them at a bare minimum. Now, the way to do this again is just look at how exactly I'm searching for this. And you can really, really quickly just no index every single page with the title tagged. Really, really simple, and it's gonna quickly fix all those issues and just no index every single one of them. It's not manually, you don't do this manual one by one, you just do this all at once. Really, really simple, better code. Beyond product tags, there is also blog tags. You have a look at this website, Window Cleaning Warehouse. Again, cool website, cool niche, but check out the website, site windowcleaningwarehouse.co.uk, in URL, tag, and you can see here there are 19 results of basically blog post tags. So when they're creating blog posts, they can create tags and they have here, say, static systems, van systems, and so on. And these are all created as additional pages, which again, are thin content. If I open up one of these, say, tag business support, then it's, there's no content on here, right? So they have the, the tag name at the top here, 
and then just blog posts. There's no real content. They're not intended to rank for business support or anything like that. So again, it is just thin content. And again, the fix is very simple. Do the exact same thing I'm looking at here in URL tags. If it contains the URL tags, then no indexes page. Very simple, two minute fix, and again, reduces those low quality thin content pages. For fix number four, one thing you need to be aware of with Shopify is they create a lot of default pages. They create by default a slash collections page, slash collections as all, sometimes shopping pages, and just different types of pages like this, which are just lists of products and collections and things like that, which can maybe be helpful for the user, but are not helpful for search engines anyway, because no one's directly searching searching for collections or products to find your products. They're searching for a specific product name, product category, brand name, or something like this, right? So if you have a look at this website here, this is postedprotein.co.uk. They sell all types of protein, high protein type foods and snacks and drinks and all that sort of stuff. But if you have a look here and you cite postedprotein.co.uk and you do like some stuff like this, like in title, collections, in URL, collections as all, in URL, collections as shop, things like this, what you find is a whole bunch of pages that come up. In this case, there are 37. Now, in this case, for the majority of them, they're all just slash collections slash all. If I look at this first one here, slash collections, it's just a list of all the collections on their store. Again, the hidden one on this page is product collections, and a title tag we saw previously is just collections. It's not intended to be ranked for anything, and most people aren't directly looking for this page, not to mention the next one, which is slash collection slash all, which is just, again, a list of all the products on the store, completely every single one of them. Now, the problem with these are it's, it's not that many pages, just a couple, but it's low quality or just thin content pages once again. And you can see on top of this, it starts indexing. Okay, they have tags, so this is another issue. But you can see here, tags, product tags have been indexed under this collection slash all. And realistically, what I would want to do is just no index the entire slash collections and slash collection slash all. That's not slash collection slash the actual collections you intend to rank in, but it's slash collections a page and then anything containing slash all, so that's tags and slash even products potentially, and basically just every URL containing slash all because it's just, you can see here the title tags, all posted protein, it's all duplicate title tags, and it's all just pages that you have no intention of ranking, they're not keyword optimized, it's just a list of all your products. So what I'd recommend doing, again, is just double checking for these default shopping pages and just no indexing all of them because there's no value to search whatsoever, and it's just lowering the quality of the site by having a bunch of thin content pages. Fix number five is to check the headings on your page. If you have a look at this website right here, Ollie Quinn, you can see here the logo, the brand name is the H1, the heading one on the page, which is the main heading, the main topic of this page. Now, realistically, that shouldn't be your H1. You should realistically only have one single H1 and should realistically have that about the topic that you intend on ranking for, i.e. the main keyword that you're looking to rank for. Now, Google have said themselves that this isn't a major issue. If you have more than one H1, they can determine this anyway, but I'd still recommend ideally just having one single H1 on the page and ideally having the main keyword that they intend on ranking for, again, with this page, not having the logo. Now, I checked this on the homepage. You can see this commonly with different themes that they set the logo again as the H1 and have the, the main heading as the H2, which is kind of the wrong really way of doing this. And I'd also recommend checking the product categories, i.e. product collection pages, and just double check that there is only one single H1 and it is the name of that collection because sometimes we'll see hidden in the theme files, hidden in the code, we see like five, literally just five different H1s all on a single page. It is a little bit messy and sure Google will do their best to try and determine it. You just want to make this as easy as possible for them. So just double check that there's only one H1 on the page ideally and that that H1 contains the keyword and is the main heading on the page, i.e. on this one it would be create your own vision, but even better than that it would focus on an actual keyword that you intend on ranking for. And the final fix, number six, is your vendor's links. So you have a look at this product right here. You can see this here, it says buy Storm. Now, if you go ahead and click Storm here, it takes us to a vendor's collection, essentially, which is slash collections, slash vendors, question mark, Q equals Storm. Now, this is just one single example. In fact, if we go ahead and do a Google search, again, site, vape fiends, in URL vendors, we can see 99 results here for all different types of vendors that they have on their store. There is a whole bunch of different ones. Now, the problem is, if you have a look at this page again, well, where is the content? It's a list of products here, 
There's no description of that vendor. There's no content. It's not really optimized to rank in any way. Now, to be honest, I would recommend actually creating collections for your vendors, but I wouldn't want this ugly URL structure firstly, and I would actually want some content on the page. I actually want to intend on ranking this collection, this page, but these are not optimized for rankings. You have a look at the title tags alone, it's just Lotus dash vape fiend. It's not even capitalized or anything. It just looks bad. It is not intended to be ranked in any way. So rather than having these crappy thin content pages, what I would suggest is number one, no indexing every single one of these. And again, just no indexing by default, anything that contains the URL slash vendors Q equals, right? Very, very simple. Beyond that, what I would recommend doing is also going into this product pages in the theme files again and deleting this link. So you can see here, this is a link where you click storm, it takes you to that vendor's collection. I would delete this link because you cannot block these at a robots.txt level. So even if you no index the pages, they still need to be crawled. So rather than sending them through this link, just delete the link altogether. So again, you're saving crawl budget, crawl resources. Very simple technical fixes here that will just improve the overall quality of your site. So that is six simple SEO fixes you make to your Shopify store to increase your traffic quickly, and you can make them within just six minutes. Honestly, every single one of them, it is that simple. Now look, if you like this video, please do me a favor, click the like button below so YouTube recommends this to more people. If you're a Shopify store owner and you're interested in having some help with this and some advice with this, let me know. Here's my website right here. Go contact us, reach out. This is what we do all day long for Shopify stores in the UK and internationally in multiple different industries, and we can absolutely help you with this. This is just a tiny sample of the issues we find every single day with different Shopify stores that we see commonly, but we can find a lot more if you'd like us to look into your store specifically. So let me know if you're interested in that. And aside from that, I will see you in my next video.